Hello, welcome back to Father of Two Plays Batman the Telltale Game, Episode 1. So, in the previous episode of my uh, playthrough, not the previous episode of the game, um, we ran into Catwoman for the first time, and we also found out Harvey Dent is running for mayor and offering to end corruption in the city. Carmine Falcone came by our manor and we did not give him a warm welcome. He replied by giving us a threat. So, we're ready to continue on here. Let me guess, we're going down to the Batcave? Touching the scratch on his face from Catwoman. Okay. It's me. I don't know where the voice activated. I should start off just where I ended the last time if I try and find a new scene every time, I, I guess. Sometimes I don't play, you know, more than one episode in a row. Other times I do, so... We're at the bat computer. Who wouldn't love to have that? The tickets from his parents' murder? He's usually going to see, like, The Mask of Zorro or some Zorro movie, right? Unemployment near record high as jobs invest- oh. Let's see what she was really after. Okay. So we have to crack that. Hard drive that Catwoman was stealing. Um, let's take a look at our codex, shall we? Cool. Okay. Let's start right here. Thomas and Martha Wayne, deceased. Founders of Wayne Enterprises. My parents, dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities, expending their vast resources to improve this city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempted robbery by a man named as Joe, <laughs> name as, known as Joe Chill. Alfred Pennyworth, Wayne family butler, faithful, patient, ever helpful Alfred, has been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidant, and most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Sorry, I had to pause the recording there. Harvey Dent, Gotham City District Attorney, mayoral candidate. A new friend and the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become a mayor, or become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save the city, I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hamilton Hill, Mayor of Gotham City. Exhibit A in what's wrong with this city. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat burglar, crimes, burglary, petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Because you're in love. Because you love her, Batman. Uh, Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. Penguin. Crimes, arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. 
He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and there our paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname. The Penguin? What happened to you, Oz? We can make a dent in Gotham's crime. James Gordon, Lieutenant, GCPD, Major Crimes Unit, Associates, Barbara Gordon, Daughter. He's a good, by-the-book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the Major Crimes Task Force, an impressive promotion, so he's doing something right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risks. Vicky Vale, investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette. One of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She'd Any been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Carmine Falcone, Skyline club owner, head of the Falcone crime family. The worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him into jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered, finding hard, admissible evidence is required for conviction. Gotham City, population 10 million. The city is like a living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be. And they deserve better than the corruption that invests this place. I've always likened Gotham to like New York, and then your metropolis is, is like LA, but I'm not sure if I'm right. That maybe it depends on the comic book series even. Arkham Asylum, established November 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital for now. Outdated in every way, building is falling apart, equipment is antiquated, and the staff's methodology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Wayne Enterprises, established 1870, multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of manufacturing and finance. I inherited a major stake from my father, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. However, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. Okay, that's all of them. I love codecs and stuff like that. Gotham feed, let's check it out. Da Dent, no oh, da, da. D A Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes by Wilson Yai. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a city hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costumed superhero, Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking victim assistance program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election. Since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26, Police Lieutenant Tapped to Lead Task Force by James Hagopian. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham's underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted, 
We are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We'll find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the U.S. Marine Corps before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement by Thomas Adolf. I'll have a drink here before I read this one. Ah, iced tea. The drink of champions. Um, the charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Movie tickets, let's take a look. Admit one. To heaven, Bruce. To heaven. Ah, <laughs> uh, cowl, cool. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. So yeah, it does have voice modulation, cool. I'm Batman. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Yeah, no doubt. Um, what else can we do? Oh, data port. That's probably where we're going to put the data drive. Uh, what else can we do? Can we go down? We can. Uh, let's head this way first. Okay, we can't. So we can go check out the Batmobile. I was going to call it the Bat Car. Is that what they called it in the Adam West Batman? To the Bat Car, Robin. It's very hard to do a good uh, Adam West. Not a boss stuff. Hard. I haven't nailed that one. So retrieve the data drive. Yeah, I know. We're checking stuff out, man. We got all night. Oh, we can watch this. Let's check that out. Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Get it? A dent? <laughs> what a good pun. I do enjoy puns, though. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Sweeping surveillance laws set to pass monitor citizens 24-7. Six dead, 21 injured in fiery Skyrail crash. Unemployment near record high as jobs, investors withdraw from city. A factory fire. By Ace oh, Ace Chemicals. No That'll have something to do with Joker, fire. I bet. But whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. Okay. Let's check out our gadgets. Um, I like pistachios. Um, let's start at this end. Trace Detection Skimmers. Newest addition. Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Cool. EMP slash Sticky Taser. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. <laughs> uh, spare Grapple Gun. Spare Grapple. She got our other one. I believe I let her take that. <laughs> you were too busy. 
saving her life and ogling probably. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Batarangs. You're gonna be like, I can make these stabbier. I should see if I can refine the edge. <laughs> yeah, totally. Sharper. Okay, I think that's everything. Yep. All right, time to pick up the drive. I think I believe I explored everything. Nearly We can't delay it any longer. Looks like a hard drive, doesn't it? Uh, data port. Batman's office makes mine look terrible. Let's find out what was so important. Wish I had billions of dollars. Damn, encrypted. And a penchant for wearing cowls. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I like I'm more this cave. at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. <laughs> then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Troglodyte. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try Decrypting. a different angle. Oh, cool. Holographic map. Uh, rotate the hologram using L, or this to rotate the hologram, use left stick. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. <clears throat> Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be <laughs> pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, Rye your wit father as always. despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't hide. That's not the point. <laughs> I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. Except I was talking right about now. Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out. Don't you mean Trust beat me. a dead horse? Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office... Well, I would take a it would undo big all leap the long of logic. And close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I I know you're only looking out for me. If Alfred's you make a suit like that fits me, we can best friend some night. Parent. I'm not partial to heights. Confidant. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Park, 6 a.m., Oz. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? 
Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. <laughs> Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Ribshot. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Well, it's definitely not a coincidence. That should be Do obvious. Do you think he though. might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll Nor be careful, can I. Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Is that where we're going next, then? It seems that way. The one that got away. 1.2. Cobblepot Park, eh? Looks like a uh, <clears throat> nice place. Where are you, Oz? In, in the park, I think. Look at graffiti. No comment. No comment. Uh, look at man warming hands. No. Recent newspaper. Wayne shuns Carmine Falcone or something? I didn't quite get to read that. Well, up the stairs into the park. Well, under the, what, arch trellis? I don't know what you call that. Uh, let's examine him. Man, you could at least, like, pile up something to lay on. There's grass over there. I mean, let's give him some change. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. We could do a lot more, I, I would think. Uh, burning barrel, look at. Gonna warm your hands. Chilly out? You should wear a coat then. And some nice gloves. Running late, meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but... No odds. He said he was running late. What about that? Don't you understand, Bruce? So we'll look at the statue last. Shopping cart. And a bunch of garbage. That's how you know a place is classy. When shopping carts from random shopping centers just start accruing. Hey. Smoking man. Beat it! Looks like somebody beat me to beating you or you just had a lot of pimples I guess or you're into uh, some question <clears throat> pardon me questionable pastimes Cobblepot Park established 27th oh, September used to be. some year that I couldn't quite make out or read in time more graffiti to stare at. Wasa! Oh, that might say Waja. Waja. Okay, that seems to be everything. Can't go up there. Yep, yeah, that seems to be it. So, let's check out the statue. The beer can on there. And possibly a part of a cigar. I'm not sure what that is. Give us Watch your wallet. Wallet cash. Yeah. But this goes through you. And well, through is questionable in. Hey, you heard him, man. 
The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The <laughs> next one kills you. And him. And it begins. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, ruining the moment! Come here! You think that'll do? Hey, he's quite the fighter. Stay down! Oh, harsh. Yeah, kick it away. Oh, that works too. Nice. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, oh, you didn't need to do that. This is my park, mine. You hear that? You got, you got some blood on you. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce, you've got a little. Uh... Don't do. Ah. Uh... Hey, good as new. Gross. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Yeah, I did feel he went to too take far. It so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I, I like this voice actor. Once that entire time. <laughs> that does Oz. Uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. Nice trench coat. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It is a shame. Glad they never saw it like this. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city Have a little nip. right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Sorry if you heard my phone. Made himself right at home. I might take it out in Oily. editing. Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. We'll be That's honest it. here. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more... Foreshadowing? Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. Oh, that doesn't sound good. And I'm here to let it in. Mm hmm Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. That's a yeah, you won't, you won't win that, win, man. Us. No, 
Not oh, with Batman here. Three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. It's my timer, so we'll end it after this uh, scene switches. Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on south side of park. Okay, so we'll end at the press conference. Next time we'll find out what that's all about. Bruce is always busy. Must be hard to be Batman, too. Okay. So, until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off.